In a significant move towards ensuring integrity in public examinations, the central government presented the draft of the Public Examinations, Prevention of Unfair Means, Bill, 2024 in Parliament on Monday. This legislative proposal aims to address malpractices that plague public examinations and common entrance tests nationwide. Let's delve into the key provisions outlined in the Public Examinations, Prevention of Unfair Means, Bill. The bill highlights the detrimental effects of malpractices on the aspirations of millions of students. It seeks to instill transparency and credibility in the examination systems, reassuring youths that their efforts will be duly recognized. The proposed legislation aims to deter individuals, groups, or institutions from engaging in unfair practices for wrongful gains, thus safeguarding the sanctity of public examinations. Under the bill, public examinations include a wide range of tests conducted by various central government bodies and agencies, ensuring comprehensive coverage. To combat unfair means effectively, the bill mandates that no premises other than the designated examination centers shall be utilized for public examinations. Offenses under the Act, once enacted, will be cognizable, non-bailable, and non-compoundable, ensuring stringent action against wrongdoers. Individuals found guilty of unfair means face imprisonment for a term of 3 to 5 years and fines up to 10 lakh rupees. For organized crimes involving examination authorities or institutions, the penalty increases to imprisonment for 5 to 10 years and fines not less than 1 crore rupees. Institutions found complicit in organized crimes will face property seizure and be held accountable for the examination's proportionate costs. As the nation moves towards stricter measures to ensure the fairness and integrity of public examinations, this bill stands as a pivotal step in upholding the aspirations of the youth and preserving the sanctity of educational assessments. Click on the link in the description to read more about the story. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to Law Today for more updates about what is happening in courts across the country.